Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the switch statement in the Java programming language. And we'll go ahead and get started as usual here. Create a new Java project. We'll call it switch statements. And uh, we'll create a new class here and call it switch statements as well. And we'll go ahead and put public static void main already in there. Just check that little box. And here we have our switch statements class. And I'll go ahead and zoom in here so you can see this a little better. All right. Now, um, switch statements are uh, kind of like the if-else statement. It allows you to choose, um, except it allows you to choose based on um, the value of, say, an int or a char, rather than just um, the Boolean value. Um, if-else statements are based off of true and false switch statements are actually based off of um, the value of a variable and um, I'll show you how to do that here I'm gonna go ahead and type in some code And just for readability's sake, we'll go ahead and indent these. All right, and here we have a pretty basic um, switch statement, which um, I'll show you how this works here. You see I have this uh, int variable called day. I set it equal to the number three, and what this switch statement does is it basically checks what uh, the value of day is and then it finds which of these values day is equal to and uh, what it does is say I have three here it's gonna look for the case that matches the value that day is holding and uh, day is equal to three so it's gonna see case one no case two no case three yes so it's gonna go down to case 3 and it's gonna print out Tuesday into the console and uh, I'll just show you that real quick and there you see it Tuesday prints out in the console um, now I can uh, try a different uh, a different value here we'll say 6 and uh, now it's going to go down to 
K6 here and use this print statement and print out Friday into the console. And there you see it. Um, I'll show you um, a little bit more here. Now you say, well, what if the value that's stored in day is not any of these numbers here? Well, that's what the default statement is for. Default executes when none of the other statements or none of the other uh, values in the case in the cases match what's stored in the variable the variable being checked. So say I put 20 in here and uh, 20 doesn't match any of these cases. Uh, so the default one, the default case, is going to print out. Not a day of the week, because it checks the variable day and checks through all of these cases and finds out that it doesn't match any of them and it automatically prints out, um, well, it automatically executes what's in the default area. Now, you're probably wondering what these uh, little break statements are here. Um, what they do is they stop the program from continually running through um, the rest of the cases, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. What happens, basically, uh, Say I have four here, and um, it the switch statement checks day and goes through the cases and sees that it matches four, so then it starts executing code right here. Well, what break does is it breaks me out of this switch statement. So if I had some other code further down, it would just go on with that and uh, that's what the break does. It breaks me out of this, uh, this switch statement, the switch block, and uh, continues on with the rest of the program. And I'll show you what happens here when you don't use break. So we'll get rid of all these breaks here. And actually, we'll do three, just so I can demonstrate something for you. OK. Now, what's going to happen here is um, it's going to match case three. And it's going to go and print out Tuesday. But because it doesn't break out, it will hit case three and continue on through the rest of the cases until it hits break. So it's actually going to print Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we'll demonstrate that here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is what shows up in the console. And um, that's your basic switch statement here. Um, I can show you, I can go ahead and show you the equivalent if-else statement, which um, which is basically, um, you, can, you can use an if-else statement or a switch statement um, in most situations, but there are some situations where a switch statement would be more practical, and there are other situations where an if-else statement would be more practical. But um, it really just depends on what you want to do. And um, I'll demonstrate this particular example um, 
using the if else statements. Okay.